Hey, okay, uh, this is Glock Ninja, and um, I've been reading my responses on YouTube in reference to the video, my last video, installing Ubuntu on the Acer laptop, which was a fail. Uh, I'm about to start at it again, uh, but before I do, I have an unboxing. If anyone can tell me what this might be. If anyone was paying attention to my last video, I referred to the Acer having an issue with something. And today, while at work, uh, I decided to get the replacement part for it. Um, take a guess what it is. Okay. Time's up. Whatever it was, it cost $39.99. Okay, and let's go and unbox it. Wow, pretty nice boxing box here, packaging, almost Apple-like, you know. Wow, being sarcastic. It's the power cord. All right, the power supply. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, plug this bad boy in and get started on trying to install Ubuntu again. So, oh, my shout out to Dark One. Um, thanks for the uh, video response and um, I'll try everything you suggested. And, uh... I'd like to thank everybody else that's responded to the video as well. They, a lot of people gave out some good advice, some of which I've already tried. And, um, well, uh, when I continue the vi this video later uh, to finish it up, I'll uh, give a, a real quick shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Okay. All right. And boy, is my fingers tired. Well, folks, what I did was I used finger number one and finger number two to hold the CD drive in while I installed Ubuntu 8.10. And I think this was the choice because it was the only CD I believe was burned correctly. For some reason, Ubuntu, uh, the one Ubuntu sent me, which was 9.04 I think there was an error file on the CD itself so that wasn't loading properly and I think uh, if I remember correctly that's the same problem I had with that thing so um, it said restart it went to 100% installation and I got my fingers got tired I let go and the CD popped out and it had a uh, button that said OK to restart so I can have the application restarted and it hasn't restarted so what I'm going to do is hard reboot and see if it will load uh, Ubuntu let me see here Let's hope it's booting up. And it looks like it might be working. It's working. It's working. Alright, we got Ubuntu 8.04 installed. I want to thank everybody for trying to give me some good advice. Ultimately, what wind up happening was that I simply had to hold the CD drive closed so it doesn't pop open while the installation was going on. Uh, it may be the fault of the CD drive or it may have been the RPM spin that was too fast. I don't know what it was but the CD drive refused to stay closed during installation. But now we have the um, Ubuntu fully installed and from here since 
4 is installed, we can now upgrade to 9.04. All right. So, thanks everybody for your inputs. Okay, I want to give out a real quick shout out and um, thanks to all the people who responded to my previous video in reference to this uh, Ubuntu installation process. Dark one. 778 thank you very much for your video response I always appreciate the video responses it just makes me feel as though people are putting that much more effort into um, you know contrib contri contributing to the uh, assistance anyway um, also Baba Zacco thank you for re responding uh, VW Bond thank you for responding um, O-O-A-R-D-R-O-O -O -O. Uh, Thank you for responding uh, Fedora Thank you for responding um, Let me see A bunch of people responded um, Things on the web Thank you very much Um No Grounds, thank you. Dr. Buck, D-R-B-U-K, thank you for your uh, response. Noob Reaper, one, thank you for your response. And uh, I think that's it. Um, if I missed anybody, I apologize. Okay, couldn't get the um, wireless network card in the in this laptop to work with Ubuntu 8.1, and uh, now I'm upgrading uh, through Ethernet cable hardwire uh, to 9.04. So hopefully, once that's upgraded, uh, the network card inside this laptop will work wirelessly with the uh, internet. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and the installation process of installing Ubuntu 9.04 on the Acer laptop is absolutely complete, 100% complete. I have the uh, I have the uh, wireless adapter working now. It is connected to the internet wirelessly and everything is running smoothly and uh, I have placed a Ubuntu sticker over the Windows uh, moniker and we are in business ready to ship back to my niece and nephew good to go and now what I'm going to do is something that most computers with other OS operating systems can't do. Is I'm going to attach my Zen to my nephew and niece's laptop and transfer all of my music on this Zen to this laptop, giving them all my music. You can't do that with OS X, and you can't do that with Windows. Now you can't, <clears throat> because Windows and OS X, well, OS X won't even recognize the Zen at all, but Windows won't recognize the Zen as a external hard drive, whereas the Ubuntu does, and you can you essentially cut and paste or copy or transfer all of the files that are on the Zen to the Ubuntu. So, another advantage Linux has over the competition. Haha! <laughs>